Eagles Project, a worldwide online empowerment training and resource center with a vision of building men and women to become creators of wealth to their family and the society at large. The Eagle Project is built on the foundation of a very simple concept, creating a solid, enduring mentoring and partnership platform for successful people to help aspiring ones, eaglets, to achieve their goals in life. To become a mentor, a mentee, or a partner in the Eagles Project, log in to www www.makingtheeagle.com Go to Get Involved in the drop-down tab. Select either Become an Eagle or Become an Eaglet or Become a Partner. The registration page will show up. Fill in your details with a valid email account as that is the basis for assigning the right mentor or mentee to your account. Click on the Submit button. Once your detailed information have been certified OK, a login detail will be sent to your email account to explore your dashboard. Hurry now! This is the total gospel for the total man. You become the total man that God created you to be by the total gospel. The total gospel is the word of God. Join God's servant, Reverend Daniel Sunday at King Belure, the general overseer and senior pastor of the Total Gospel Bible Church Incorporated, Lagos, Nigeria, as he unveils the secret keys to irresistible breakthroughs in all areas of your life through the machinery of God's Word. It is your turn for a turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. Now the Reverend. Father, we are grateful tonight. Thank you for bringing us into your glorious presence again. We are grateful for your love for us, your provision and your protection over our lives. We are grateful for who you are. We are particularly grateful for the way this year began and for how far you have brought us in the journey of this year. Lord, we are grateful for the power of your word, for the transformation of our life. We are grateful, Lord God, you are for how your word has been transforming and translating us from one realm to the other. We are grateful for the integrity and the power of your word. Lord, thank you. We bless your name. This night again, Jehovah God, visit us by the purity and the sanctity of your word, by the weight and the efficacy of your word, by the transformation power of your word. Visit us tonight, Lord God Jehovah. Bless us greatly. Rewrite our story. Change our history and glorify yourself in our life. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Welcome to another great season. The hour of the total gospel for the total man. The Lord will reach out unto you greatly tonight. I am starting a new series with you on the subject of from glory to glory. From glory to glory. That is the subject, if I, that's going to be our focus for some few weeks and months now. For some few weeks and months from now. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. Let me read some text. And then I'm going to lay solid foundation. The plan of God for us is to continue to ascend the altitudes of life. To continue to ascend and never to descend the altitudes of life. Spiritual, financial, physical, health-wise, marital, and in every area of our life. To continue to command the ascension of the increasing altitudes of life. Now we are told in the scriptures, 
In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible said, The path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Another translation of the Bible says, That shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The path of the just, the pathway, the movement, the experience of the just is as a shining light. Not a dimming light, shining light, shining light, not, a, not an obscuring light, shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. The Bible said in Psalm 84, verse 7, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them who appear before God in Zion, from strength to strength, not from strength to weakness, not from strength to defeat. They go from one level of strength to another level of strength. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them who appear before God in Zion. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 3, 18. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. They are changed into the same image. From glory to glory. Not from glory to corruption. Not from glory to decadence. From glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So, the, 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 the agenda and the plan of God for his children is constant translation from one level of glory to the other. God designs, God packaged, God desires that you begin to experience a movement from glory to glory as the journey of your life continues upon the face of the earth. From glory to glory. From glory to... Tonight, I want to begin to lay some foundations that we shall begin to see and begin to build upon it as... We continue with this program. The subject of our discussion tonight from this general theme from glory to glory is breaking the yoke or the bondage of corruption and decadence. Breaking the yoke or the bondage of corruption and decadence upon the destinies of men upon the face of the earth. God desires your endless progression, your endless movement, not minding the barricades, the barriers, and the obstacles and the hindrances of life. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 15, God spoke to the children of Israel, even when they were when they were staring at the Red Sea, God spoke to them to move forward. Not minding the reality of the Red Sea. Exodus chapter 14 verse 15. God spoke to Moses to tell the children of Israel that they go forward. In spite of the devouring Red Sea that was staring at them. Go forward. As I'm talking to you tonight, by the grace of the Almighty God, I repeat what God said to Israel. Concerning you tonight, no matter the challenges you are facing, no matter the oppositions and the confrontations that line up along your pathways in life, you must go forward. This month, you must go forward. This week, you must go forward. Not minding every obstacle or hindrance or barrier that lies along your way in life. But in life, there are some people in life that are destructive victims of the yoke of the bondage of corruption. Corruption or the opposite of glory. There are some people that the forces and the powers of corruption have subjected them to their whims and their caprices in life. People that are victims of corruption. People that can never manifest glory. People that 
whose destinies are held down perpetually by the yoke of corruption. People that glory is eluding them. Glory is eluding them in the journey of life. Tonight, my mission is to locate such people wherever you are and to effect your release and your deliverance and your liberty tonight. To effect your release. There are some people that are held down perpetually by the yoke of corruption. What is the yoke of corruption? In John chapter 11, in John chapter 11, verse 39, Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus and spoke to Mary and Martha. Jesus said, roll away the stone. In John chapter 11, John, John 11, verse 39, John 11, verse 39, Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. By this time he stinketh. There are people that are victims of the bondage of corruption and decadence. They are sinking and stinking as the journey of their life continues upon the face of the earth. They are victims of the bondage of corruption. They are sinking and stinking. Sinking and stinking. They are the ship of their destiny is sinking. They are also stinking as the journey of their life continues. They are victims of the bondage of corruption. How do you identify them? Let me show you whether you fall into any of any of this description. This is your hour of divine release. Number one, in Genesis chapter 42, verses 6 to 8. The brethren of Joseph, after many years, about 13 years of their, sep of their separation from Joseph, about 13 years of their separation from Joseph, they met. By the time they met, Joseph had become the prime minister in Egypt. The brethren of Joseph, Reuben, Issachar, Levi, Judah, Simeon, and the rest of them, they came to Egypt to come and buy food. They were hungry. Joseph, their brother, that they had hated and sold to bondage, was a governor that was selling food to all the nations of the earth. So they came in Genesis 42, verse 6 to 8. Bible said, Joseph's brethren came to Egypt. When they saw Joseph, they bowed down their faces to the earth before him. Now the Bible said, <coughs> the Bible said, Joseph knew them, but they knew not Joseph. Genesis 42, verse 6 to 8. Joseph knew his brethren, but his brethren knew him not. One of the characteristics of people that are victims of the bondage of corruption is that they remain the same over a long period of time. They don't change. Joseph knew them because they had not changed. They knew not Joseph because Joseph had changed. Joseph has changed. There had been a radical turnaround. There had been a transformation and a translation. Change. Change had happened to Joseph in ways that cannot be explained and be described by the loss of life. But they didn't change over the past 13 years. They were still who they used to be. So Joseph knew them. They didn't know Joseph. Victims of the bondage of corruption remain the same over a long period of time. They don't change. In fact, you can predict him because you know who he has always been for the past 10 years. You can predict that in the next 10 years, this is who he will be. They don't change. They remain the same. They carry the same, the same physiology, the same outlook, the same appearance, the same experience, the same, the same encounter, the same expression, the same testimony over time, over a long period of time. They are victims of the bondage of corruption. Those ones are not manifesting glory. They are stinking and sinking in the journey of life. Number two, you remember the man that was by the pool of Bethesda, John chapter 5? Bible said when Jesus Christ saw him and knew that he has been now a long time in that case. 
a long time in that unpleasant condition, a long time in that bitter condition, a long time in that hopeless condition, a long time in that body short condition, a long time as a liability. Jesus, Jesus saw that he has been now a long time in that place. So continued stagnation. Long duration of affliction. Long duration of oppression. Carrying the same problem, the same affliction for a long period of time. He has been sick for the past 10, 20 years. He's still sick there. He has been jobless for the past 7 years. He's still jobless. He's been single up to the age of 50. He's still 60. He's still single. He has been, he had been in a hopeless, despondent, unpleasant, bitter, hard condition for a long period of time. He's still there. He's a victim of the bondage of corruption. You remember the woman with the issue of blood, Mark, Mark chapter 5, verses 25 and 26. Babu said, the woman has spent all that she had. He said, he said there was a certain woman that has an issue of blood 12 years and has Many, and, has, and, has, and, has, and has suffered many things of many physicians and has spent all that she had. Instead of getting better, she was growing worse. Those are victims of the bondage of corruption. Victims of the bondage of corruption. Victims of the bondage of corruption. Tonight, per adventure, you are in that situation. That is not the plan or the purpose of God for your life. I want to pray with you. Now, there are powers that are supervising corruption and decadence in a man's life. There are powers. There are powers that are holding men perpetually upon the land of corruption and decadence. There are powers that are sinking the ship of a man's destiny and making the man to begin to stink in the journey of life. What do you need? You need to be delivered from such powers. You must be born again. You must surrender your life to Jesus Christ. You must, become, you must make him Lord and Savior of your life. Number two, you must understand your inheritance in redemption. You must understand your rights in redemption. You must understand why Jesus came. What, 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 what he came to die for as far as your life is concerned. You must understand your riches, your rights, your benefits in redemption. Then number three. You use the opportunity of that understanding to fight your battle out of that corruption. Tonight, as I pray together between two minutes, yokes will be broken. Your deliverance is now. Your release is now. Your liberty is now. As I pray together with you tonight, you will see a change. The force of glory will locate you and catapult you from the land of decadence and corruption and move you to the land of glory, shining beauty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we rise to our feet? I'd like you to just stand where you are. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus, begin to say, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I surrender my life to you. I want the yoke of corruption to break loose and scatter from my life. Just go ahead and talk to him like that. Lord, I pray for these ones that are declaring you Lord and Savior. Let your salvation enter to their life. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Pray, pray. Just pray this one prayer. I want you to pray. Thou the chain of bondage to corruption. Thou the yoke of bondage to corruption upon my life. Break now by fire. Release me. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes, Lord Jesus. La basa tarua. I command the chain and the yoke of the bondage of corruption upon the life of everyone under the sound of my voice. In every area where corruption is holding you hostage. Every yoke of bondage to corruption. Lord, I am asking that you break it now. Let the yoke break 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 now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I want you to pray. Powers that are subjecting me to the bandage of corruption. 
I command you, the weight of the blood of Jesus is against you. Hey, I bind you and cast you out of my life right now. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes, Lord. Alabosa, every power subjecting me to the bandage of corruption, I paralyze you. The weight of the blood of the Lamb is against you. I command you to be rendered powerless and impotent. Lose your grip over my life and release me right now in the name of Jesus. You powers that are supervising and strengthening and monitoring corruption in my life, I cause you. I break your cord and break your hold over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, I want you to pray. Anointing for positive turnaround. Anointing for positive change. Positive turnaround. Come upon me right now. In every area of my life. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lamba Santalia. I decree the anointing and the power for positive change and positive turnaround to rest upon my life right now. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for all my viewers. Place your right hand upon your forehead. I break the cord, the chain, and the yoke of the bondage of corruption. I break it now over your life. I command powers that are monitoring, supervising, coordinating, and strengthening corruption in your life. Let those powers be wasted by fire. I command them to lose their grip over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the anointing for positive change. Supernatural supernatural turn around to rest upon your life right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree right now it is your season to move from glory to glory i baptize you with the garment of glory i envelope you with the garment of glory right now in the mighty name of justice i command corruption to surrender and give way over your life in the mighty name of justice of Nazareth. right now I command the yoke of that infirmity upon your life to be broken now. That sickness that is that is deteriorating, that is degenerating, that is that is that is deteriorating your life. I command the spirit behind that sickness, the demon, the demonic spirit, supervising that sickness, that affliction. I command that spirit now to be roasted by fire. I command your liberty and your freedom. Loose now, be released. That sickness disappear from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command a force that is that is that is sinking your finances, that is sinking, that is drying up your finances. I command that force, that power now to dry up by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bring your finances from the valley. I bring your finances from the dungeon. I bring your finances from the valley. I bring it up now. Labo sabala bala bala. I rebuke that mame spirit. That mummy water spirit that is trading with your with your business in the in the waters that is trading with your business. I command that mummy spirit that is that has hijacked your bank account that has hijacked your your bank account that has hijacked your business. Carry it to the water. Trading with your with your business with your friend. That mummy spirit is caused now. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to go to the water and consume that mammoth spirit and release your bank account and release your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough this week. Receive your miracle. The hand of God rest upon you. Deliver you. Lose satanic grip of your life. You shall have testimony. Receive healing now. Let there be restoration of your business in your finances. Let helpers of destiny locate you. Let your head be lifted. Let there be a turnaround for you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father. It is well. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you for watching. I hope you have been richly blessed by this message. The Lord will keep blessing you till the end of time in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to watch this message again, or a lot of very many of our messages, visit our YouTube channel at Total Gospel TV. You have access to a lot of our messages that will bless you and enrich your life. For inquiries, for prayers, and for counseling, call any of the numbers on the, on the screen, or visit any of our social media handles, and we shall get back to you. Paradventure, you want to give your life to Jesus? You want Jesus to become Lord and Savior of your life. I want to pray together with you. Can you just place your right hand upon your chest as I pray with you. Father, thank you for these ones that are giving their life to Jesus. I am asking that the salvation of God will enter into your life. I uproot you from the soil of the kingdom of darkness. 
I transplant you upon the soil of the kingdom of God. I uproot the seed of Adam from you and plant the divine nature inside of you. The Lord will keep you. Let your name be written in the book of life. You will not draw back to perdition. You will stand to the saving of souls. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'd like to advise you to take time to attend the Bible-believing church where you will hear more of the word of God and faith will be generated in you and you'll be established in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to worship with us, just look at any of the branches that is nearest to you and attend any of those of our program, programs. Our pastors are highly anointed. They are waiting for you. By the grace of God, God, God will use them for a turnaround in the story of your life and it shall be well with you. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for this hour. Thank you for all my viewers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the hand of God will rest upon your life. Evil hands pointing to you, I command them to wither. I command amazing doors of miracle and testimony to open for you this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke the devil to hands off your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I envelop you with the garment of unprecedented divine favor. Help and fortune will locate you this week. This week shall be an amazing week in your life. It shall be a week of divine intervention and divine remembrance. Your story will never remain the same again. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. By the grace of the Almighty God, I will still see you on this same channel, this same time next week. Before that time, God will visit you. You have a major miracle and a major testimony. It shall be well with you. God bless you. Eagles Project, a worldwide online empowerment training and resource center with a vision of building men and women to become creators of wealth to their family and the society at large. The Eagle Project is built on the foundation of a very simple concept, creating a solid, enduring mentoring and partnership platform for successful people to help aspiring ones, eaglets, to achieve their goals in life. To become a mentor, a mentee, or a partner in the Eagles Project, log in to www dot making the eagle dot com go to get involved in the drop down tab select either become an eagle or become an eaglet or become a partner the registration page will show up filling your details with a valid email account as that is the basis for assigning the right mentor or mentee to your account click on the submit button once your detailed information have been certified okay a login detail will be sent to your email account to explore your dashboard hurry now Wow.